what, what drives you to do what you've done in your life and with your son and <clears throat> you your know, family? I'm, I'm, uh, what drives me? I, my, I, my family drives me, mm -hmm. I guess. I can see uh, that. Uh, how could I do any less for, for Patrick than what I've done for, for mm -hmm. e any of my boys, Jesse and Cameron? You know, my, my goal and what I signed up for as a father was to, to, to raise young, young men or young, sure. young women, whatever I was blessed with. In my right. case, it was three boys uh, to be the best, you know, young men that they can be. Mm -hmm. uh, God has certainly blessed me with three sure. young men who are all better than I was <laughs> as a youth. <laughs> Uh, so very lucky there. Uh, a great wife, you know, who's got a, a yes. very, uh, very positive spirit. Uh, you know, a, a spirit that never says something can't be done. Mm -hmm. uh, who who always not only pushed me to be the best I could be, but I saw you know how she also mm -hmm. expects the most out of her children. So, uh, you know, I just I'm just a dad, mm -hmm. and and I do the best I can. I've certainly made mistakes, right? You know, but I but I've always tried to do something. Uh, for my sons to so that they can experience life well, to the fullest. What I th find remarkable about your old story is that you know Patrick Henry has the innate passion and, and God-given talent but then you as a parent and Patricia as well who's not with us today you know you saw that and you nurtured it and you help expand that and unfortunately there's a lot of families out there that may not have seen that or diminished it or whatever the case may be and I think that's what makes this story it is a form of leadership, even though I would argue it's more inspirational than the true form of leadership and why I want to have you on the program. So that's what I think it makes it really unique to tell your story. So this question is going to go back to you, Patrick Henry. Whom do you credit most influential in your life? It can be more than one person. It can be academic, personal. Well, you know, there, there are several people. Of course, my, my family truly is very influential. You know, I'm a firm believer in, uh, uh, as I often like to say the best personal heroes can be found close to home because really mm -hmm. when you think about it your family and close friends are the ones that that are going to be there uh, to help you along when you're having problems and challenges you don't know that you're going to be able to to face and of course I have other uh, people that are inspirational as well one of my favorites and one that I often talk about is the uh, singer and musician Ray Charles because yeah. you know, like everyone I have days where sometimes the obstacles seem a little great you know things maybe I don't want to do but whenever I have those moments I have to look at the things that Ray Charles faced especially in the 50s when his fame was just beginning to spread I mean being right. born in the South and African American and, and blind to boot, I mean, that's pretty much the odds seemed stacked against him, but right. he overcame those odds and became a, a very successful musician. So I believe that if he could overcome those obstacles and challenges, well, I could overcome, you know, little struggles in my life. That's great. And the question's the same for you, Patrick. John, whom do you credit most influential in your life? Again, it could be more than one family, professional you know I don't know I don't know of any any one person that mm -hmm. seems to have had a, a huge impact on me more than my own immediate family right that's great. Uh, obviously my wife mm -hmm. uh, I often credit her with raising four boys yeah me I was being say, the fourth. She, she deserves a medal because and the, yeah she's the only female in the house oh wow but you know clearly Patrick Henry had a, right. a, a huge impact on me I like to think uh, as I grew older and, and gained some maturity, I, my, my thoughts and ideals would have grown, mm -hmm. as most men's do. But I think Patrick Henry being born the way he was mm -hmm. uh, kind, of, kind of set me on a, a rapid path to uh, being a different kind of man than I was at, at 26 mm -hmm. when he was born. Right. Uh, I, had, I had to really change a, a lot of the ways I saw the world. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then as Patrick grew, his spirit and, and his ambition and his, mm -hmm. uh, his, his abilities yeah. that he had, you know, they really made me look at the things I complained about in my own life as a, as a 26, 27, 28-year-old man and say, mm -hmm. my gosh, what am I complaining about? You know, I, I'm, I'm so blessed to get in that minivan I don't like and drive to that job I don't like. Yeah. You know, I mean, just little things like that. You know, I knew that Patrick could never you know, would never do that. He's not going to, well, maybe he will with technology and all, but, right, right. you know, in the broader sense, he's not going to get in that, 
that van and drive himself to work, if you will, mm -hmm. and, and you can interpret that different ways, but you know, it just made me appreciate all of the things that I was given, mainly my health mm -hmm. uh, and the ability to, to do a lot of things that I took for granted before mm -hmm. he was born. And then my other sons came along and, and you know, the same effect from them. Just, just great right. boys with, with ambition and drive and... Good siblings. And yeah, they're, they're wonderful brothers for Patrick. Mm -hmm. He'd tell you differently yeah, as the oldest sibling. Later. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was just a, just a wonderful... I've just been tremendously blessed mm -hmm. with, with these people.